Oh, God damn it. YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. It is another episode of Keep It or Eat It. Today, we are talking about gloves. Um, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, make sure you tune in. And uh, thanks so much for watching, and let's get right into it. All right, so today, gloves. What gloves are worth keeping, and what gloves are we eating? Obviously, if I haven't mentioned before, if it's not on this list, it is yeatable. Also, crafted items are not going to be here. We're going to talk about that in a separate video, but a lot of the gloves that are worth something are crafted. Uh, well, that'll be another video, so keep your eyes peeled for it. First of all, as we always start off with, start off with white gloves or base gloves. Um, there are none. You don't pick those up. There's nothing useful with white ethereal gloves, regular gloves, doesn't matter. Don't pick them up. Uh, magic, though. We do have some magic gloves that are worth taking a look at. So, uh, magic gloves have the unique property of being able to get plus three to a skill. Um, what we're looking for are either Amazon plus three to bows, Amazon plus three to javelins. Uh, you can get assassin uh, martial arts, but uh, we're looking for usually plus three and attack speed. Uh, martial arts are usually kick assassins, and that attack speed is not going to help them. Um, so I don't know how useful or tradable uh, an assassin version would be. Uh, but these are definitely uh, the only gloves you can get that are plus three to a skill. Uh, with this 20 attack speed, so they are worth keeping. Uh, I don't know if you're going to pick up every blue glove you find or magic gloves you find, but uh, if you do come across them, keep them. All right, also talking about gloves with skills on them, uh, the same types of rolls you can get on rare gloves as well, except instead of plus three to skills, you're getting plus two. So we're looking for ja plus two to javelin, plus, three to, plus two to bows. Um, you can still get the plus two to assassin martial arts as well. Uh, we do want the 20 attack speed. That's very important. And then at that point, you're looking for things like uh, Mana Leech, especially Zahns really need the Mana Leech. Uh, Life Leech is great. And then any other useful stats like, um, you know, Strength, Dex, Life, Resistances, any of that would be useful. And if you have a slew of those, obviously the uh, skills and the attack speed being priority, um, you are looking at a very uh, valuable item. All right, moving on to set items, we have the Trangs Gloves. Uh, these are really the only gloves that are actually sought after you can make an argument about some other set gloves having some unique properties and whatnot that are useful but as far as being able to sell it and trade for it these uh, are one out of two of the only gloves in the game that actually have faster cast rate on them uh what's also great about these is you get the uh poison skill damage uh depending if you have poison skills with your class and the cold resistance 30 percent is always helpful as well they not they may not be worth selling at this point they're pretty popular items to find um but they're at least worth holding on to for future classes that you might build um, as well as somebody might be desperate and be looking for one at one point, offering this and that for it because they just, for whatever reason, don't have one. Uh, but they're not that rare of an item in the game. All right, next up is the other caster glove that gives faster cast rate. This is the Mage Fist. Uh, they are upable as well, so uh, they are a normal base, but you can get them all the way up to an elite base. But be careful, that strength requirement is very high. Um, we get the 20 faster cast rate, a good amount of mana regeneration, and plus to fire skills, which isn't that useful. Um... For most classes, now sorceresses that are dual specs may want that. Um, maybe if you're a druid and you have some type of fire skills that you use, you may want that. But like I said, these are the only other gloves with the fast cast rate. So comparing them to things like Trangs, obviously you're getting mana regeneration uh, versus resistances for most builds. Uh, also a very common item, uh, maybe not going to be able to sell it, but like I said, keep them... Keep them, keep a few of them as extras if you have them. Uh, they'll come in handy for future builds as well as uh, somebody might be desperate looking for one that just simply just doesn't have for some reason. All right, next for unique gloves, we have the Dracul's Grasp Vampire Bone Gloves. These are a staple for many melee classes, especially if you're trying to do ubers. Uh, the chance to cast Life Tap on striking is a curse that applies on enemies that makes you pretty much indestructible. As long as you keep hitting them, you will keep gaining a ridiculous amount of life. Uh, also, they have Life Leech as well, which is very helpful. Open Wounds is great to keep uh, Ubers from healing themselves, as well as a little bit of strength doesn't hurt and a decent amount of defense. These gloves are worth selling. They are co constantly in demand. Um, so if you find them, keep them, sell them, whatever you want to do with them, they're great gloves to have. And that's actually the, that's actually it. That's the last of it. Like I said, there's a lot more to talk about with gloves with crafting, and we'll do that in another video. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes peeled for it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you do. Uh, and then also join our Discord, because we do things like clone walks, we do giveaways every day, we have our torch, we gave away 20 torches last Friday, we do it about every Friday. Uh, make sure you uh, just come in and join the community, appreciate you, and uh, good luck on your hunting. Peace, peace.